Uh, like Jeff mentioned, my name is Mike Guerin, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Amada America. Uh, it's obviously my pleasure to, to stand before you today and welcome you here today for this uh, a grand event and the newest uh, opening of one of our uh, factories uh, to produce press brake tooling for the press brakes, which uh, Patrick over here at the, in the end is working on con uh, building a factory down in uh, North Carolina, which should be completed in probably another uh, couple of months. So the two items, the press brake and the tooling that will come out of this facility, match together and allow the customers to create and build the products that uh, we all recognize and know probably if you've ever seen an electrical box or a refrigerator or a, you know gone to Wendy's and seen the bunmatics and everything that's made out of sheet metal, that's what uh, these press brakes and the tooling will uh, do for uh, job shops and organization companies like that. On um, that facility down there is going to be 180,000 square feet. Uh, and it'll probably employ, I'm thinking, about 100, 100 different uh, people at different levels of the company. So uh, the manufacturing theme of, of the last uh, three or four years, and uh, I think, has kind of taken hold in a lot of businesses, obviously. And uh, for Armada, it's uh, a very strong uh, reward for us to do this here. If I may, I'd like to. Uh, kind of explain uh, the very beginnings of uh, Elba Tool. And Elba uh, was a company that uh, really started this whole organization back in 1965. Uh, Bill Benton, his, uh, him and his father started this company, and it built uh, small uh, punches for uh, uh, little turrets and uh, job shops to uh, be able to punch and, and build, build product. And um, I was wondering, you know, what else was going on in 1965? And so um, the President of the United States was Linda Bean Johnson. That's a long time ago, actually, when you think about it. Um, the uh, Ford Mustang just came off the production line. It was like one of the hot hits of uh, cars. And uh, the Mariner flew past Mars and took the first pictures we've ever seen of Mars close up. And uh, Malcolm X was assassinated that year, as well as the Beatles had hit songs that helped and yesterday. So uh, 1965 was a, a pretty, pretty cool year. A lot of things happened and uh, I traveled from that small little uh, building and the opportunity they put together to this magnificent new place you can see today. Um, in 1980, Amada uh, kind of partnered with uh, Elba Tool at that point in time, and we uh, allowed we, we needed to get our tooling made, and and uh, we had come up with this uh, turret punch press, which really took the market by storm, and uh, really elevated Amada's uh, presence in the United States uh, heavily, and we actually became the number one uh, supplier of the type of equipment and machines uh, from that day forward. Uh, until today. And so partnering with uh, Elba Tool gave us the ability to supply our machine with the tooling it needed and um, help the customers you know, grow and, and build the product they need to build. In uh, 1990, uh, we decided that uh, we would merge and, and you know, really purchase uh, Elba outright and um, kind of consolidate everything together. So um, in that time frame, we, uh, uh, you know, they had about 18 employees or so, very small, but um, we uh, had grand plans of putting in a lot of machines and equipment, Ed, and uh, we really did uh, uh, some, some things I never thought I'd get to be involved in either, so uh, it was a great learning experience and uh, great growth for the company here as well. Then in uh, 2000, uh, we renamed the company Amada Tool America, which is uh, named today, and um, at that point, we've grown to 45 uh, employees, so we're slowly growing from 1965, I think they had seven in 65 to, to that, so that's, that's pretty good. It's a small machine shop business, so you, know, you can kind of understand, but the volume they put out is you know, in the millions, so it wasn't, uh, you know, a small, uh, it wasn't a small little adventure anyway. Um, also in 2000, then we, added on to this side of the building, 
uh, to make uh, room for a lot more uh, processing tooling that we wanted to do because we were building it in Chicago and we were building it here. And so in later, later in 2001, uh, we consolidated all of our Chicago facility here and we built, from raw material, we built uh, our, our complete tool. And today, uh, 18 years later, I'm, yeah, about 18 years later, uh, we probably are about 95% localized products there's just a few things that uh, we would purchase outside. Otherwise, everything we do is in-house. And our on-time deliveries were very, uh, very important for our customers to get their tooling on time to be able to run the parts they need to run. I think we're running somewhere around 99, quite right, right around 99%, 99.5% on time. So that's a, a great accomplishment, it really is. Um, I think we're here with um, about, 12, I'm thinking 12, maybe 15 million dollars somewhere in there, just in the punch side. And then um, we're looking at probably some pretty pretty strong sales from our uh, bedding side as well. So we've diversified uh, the company a little bit more and gives it more ability to, to survive the, the future. And that's uh, what we really want to do. We're at 70 employees today. Um, with this facility, it'll probably be a little over 80, 85 company employees. So. From 7 to 85, we've done a, a pretty good job in such a small area. And I know there were some big companies here years ago. They're all gone, but uh, we're still here. <laughs> so, um, I'd like to thank you know the, the vendors that uh, supported this whole process of, of building the building, but really it's also the guys that will be taking over and, and helping us uh, in day-to-day -day activities of you know nitrate coating and getting materials and heat treating and all the things that we we need that uh, we don't have a facility for but we can do the, the raw material to the finished goods so everybody that uh, supported this project I really appreciate it and um, thank you very much for that.